In this video, we are covering the respiratory system. This is the right lung and this is the left lung. On the right side, we have three lobes. We have the superior, the middle, and the inferior lobes. And these lobes are separated by fissures. The fissure that we have in between the superior lobe and the middle lobe is named horizontal fissure because it is horizontal. And then separating the inferior lobe from the middle and superior lobes, we have the oblique fissure. And it's named oblique fissure because it is diagonal, it's oblique. Now, you need to pay attention to not get confused when we are looking at the fissures and naming the lobes and not the cuts that we have in the model which can be a little tricky sometimes, so pay attention to that. When we look on the left side, we just have two lobes. We have the superior lobe and the inferior lobe, and between them, we find the oblique fissure. It's another fissure that is diagonal, oblique. When we remove this part, we can see better the trachea right here. And the trachea ends at the carina, which is this part. The trachea is split into the two main bronchi. So these are called main bronchi or primary bronchi. And when the primary splits, we have the secondary bronchi. And when the secondary splits, we have the tertiary bronchi. And the tertiary will split and into fourth and then fifth and so on. But for our purpose, we are stopping at the tertiary bronchi. So you just, all these that you see here, we are naming tertiary bronchi. Now, every time you get a tag in a bronchus, make sure that you count how many times it's split before so you don't get confused and you get a very easy question wrong because you didn't count the splitting times that happened. Here we have a blood vessels going towards the lungs, and this blue one is the pulmonary artery, and these are pulmonary veins. If we go back up here, this is the trachea, and right here we have the larynx. And out of the nine cartilages we have in the larynx, we are learning three. The largest one is the thyroid cartilage, and then right here, underneath the thyroid, we have the cricoid cartilage. If we remove this part and we look at it in the middle view, we have here the thyroid. This is the thyroid. And right here, we have the cricoid. And the cricoid is the only cartilage that we will see here in the posterior aspect. So this is also the cricoid cartilage. So one cartilage is the thyroid, the other one is the cricoid, and the third cartilage of the larynx that we are learning is this one. This one is named epiglottis. Now the name tells you that the epiglottis is above epi, it is above the glottis, which is this part right here. 